two Iowa school districts face a combined $10 million budget shortfall this year, and many are rightfully pointing a finger at Governor Kim Reynolds' private school tuition voucher program. Now stick with me, we're gonna do some math. The Iowa Department of Education reported that 471 students who reside within the Iowa City School District receive vouchers this school year, and in Linmar, it was 231. If you don't recall, the program initiated for the 2023-24 school year promised almost $8,000 in taxpayer funds for students to attend private schools. The students would be district is given a little over $1,000 as a reimbursement of sorts for lost revenue. Without reimbursement, vouchers would have cost the Iowa City School District around three and a half million dollars based on the number of recipients. But even with the kickback from the state, the district is still short three million dollars because of vouchers. The 231 students in Linmar received vouchers at a collective cost of over 1.7 million dollars before reimbursement. The state compensation shrinks the deficit to 1.48 million. All of that math is to prove that the cost of vouchers times the number of recipients equals a lot, but the reimbursement check times the number of voucher recipients, which is supposed to make up for the previous equation is not enough. So now, because of the severe deficits facing these schools, they have to make some major cuts. And I do mean major. Iowa City plans to close its elementary school in Hills, Iowa to save around $1.66 million as it hopes to shave $7.5 million from their total budget. Linmar has to trim $2.5 million off, so it's cutting 50 staff positions, including 19 full-time teachers. And each year, the program is exceeding expected costs. The first year was only supposed to be around $106 million, but it actually cost $128 million. And two-thirds of recipients already attended private school. Let me say that louder. The majority of state voucher recipients already had enough money for private school tuition. This is only going to get more expensive for Iowa taxpayers as private schools raise tuition and the state lifts income restrictions for voucher recipients. So the program's already much more expensive than predicted, and not just in terms of money. It's coming at the cost of affordable and accessible education for all Iowans. You can read more about this story over at Iowa Starting Line, and thanks for watching.